Okay, hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of the Superbus Project with myself, Rosie One, and today I have special guest Fatboy with me. <laughs> he's over there, he's gonna help us out. Uh, it's raining a little bit, I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be raining so I could just dump all this stuff outside and lift the sofa up and start sorting that wall out, but unfortunately I've now got to find another place for all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll get back up, I'll catch back up with you once that's done, and uh, yeah, progress hopefully today. Right, so in order to put this wall back in, I've got to take this box out and also this top half of the sofa, but this is quite an easy job. I could just undo the hinges and that'll be sweet, lift that out. Say hello, Chris. Hi. So yeah, uh, I've got to put this board back on and what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, patch in the corner there so that there's no hole on the inside or outside. That'll save us a lot of uh, plyboard or whatever this stuff is. So yeah, my next job is to get out this uh, power inverter and the box underneath it. And then I've got to take the hinges off and I can put my wall back in. So there we go. Okay, so the wall's back in. It didn't go in as neat as I'd liked it to. I mean, there's some tear-offs in the corner here. But what I might do is uh, I might cover this in wallpaper. And that way it'll cover up all the uh, nastiness. And uh, so, yeah, now all I've got to do is I've got to put this block back in the bottom here. The wall section there and the wall section at the back and then I am good to go. And uh, I've got to screw this thing back in as well. Ta-da! Proletariat Liberty! <laughs> Alright guys, we are back for... Uh, uh, this is going to be the second day. Uh, Chris isn't with us anymore, but thank you very much for your help, sir. I lost lots of tools and he found them for me. But today, Fredders is here! Hello! And uh, we're going to continue putting this bathroom in. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that. I've got to cut this carpet a little bit to fit the square wall in. Because uh, this is all... Yesterday we managed to get this in. We managed to insulate the wall and nail this back in. Uh, I'm going to put wallpaper over that at some point in my life. But uh, for now it's fine. So yeah, I've got to cut this a bit more. Fit in the square. Uh, fit in the square wall which is this one down here and then I can put the bendy wall in and then I can put the door in and everything will be good also special shout out to Tony and Nadia uh, my Italian friends uh, thank you very much for the posil or letting me take ideas from the posil and I can't wait to see you guys again soon I'm really looking forward to it so yeah let's, cra let's crack on and I'll see you soon okay so the bathroom is pretty much all back in there have been a couple of issues where we've had to add additional stuff up the top here because the uh, for some reason the ceiling's higher in the middle here in the middle as opposed to at the back so we've had to add a bit of wood in there I think we've had to add one in at the back as well so you could just about see that but uh, now what we're doing is Fredders is nailing on the back panel here and it's uh, unfortunately it looks a bit rough but we haven't got any more of this ply board so what I'm going to do in the future is just cover it up with some wallpaper and uh, hopefully that means you won't really see it and to be honest with you this wood's kind of tacky looking anyway so covering it up was kind of the original plan and then after all this we're going to put the door back in I'm expecting some more problems up the top here we might have to make a bigger bit of wood to go in here so that the door is 100% going to fit and then uh, it will just be a case of moving the plug, uh, well, moving the uh, thing down there, the sink out type thing, drain, I guess would be the right word, and putting it in here. The only problem I see with that is I want to have a sort of slanted floor on it now, so I want it kind of all to run into one direction, uh, and that way I won't have to park the van at a funny angle just to get it to drain out. But yeah, we're going to crack on with this, and uh, see you soon. Okay, so Fredders has managed to remove the top half of this ring, even though it was super mastic thin. Uh, so here it is. He's managed to successfully retrieve this, so we can use it again, which is handy. We just need to get it off from the bottom now, I think, and then it's good to go. And uh, we've had a bit of a mishap with the door. The door no longer fits. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a bit of a compromise idea. Law suggested that we, uh, instead of putting all this stuff back in, we just have like a shower curtain. Uh, we're going to sort of go half and half because I like the privacy of the booth, but it's going to be a hassle buying and fitting more wood to fit in this hatchway. So that will happen eventually, but for the time being, we're just going to put the shower curtain in here and that'll be that. Uh, Fred has just cut this bit of wood and that fits up there perfectly so we're going to cover that with lino or vinyl whatever the stuff is and have it overlapping so that when we put it in uh, we could just lift it up and tuck the, the new piece under here or the existing piece that's been cut out under here so it'll have the overlap so if any water does get on it it drips into all the right places 
and uh, so yeah we just need to put the sticky back walls back in here and the floor new floor if we can't get this one up but I'm pretty sure we can get this one up um, and apart from that not much else I'll let you know when we've got some more progress might have to move the kitchen so it's in line with the bathroom so as you can see here they're a little bit out of whack so the kitchen is just slightly I don't know how I can accurately show you but you're on the edge of the uh oh shit that zoom don't zoom no back up back up back up back up there you go so that's the edge of the kitchen there and we sort of need it to be more in the center of the screen so that's uh, potentially another job um and then after this i guess because now we've got the bathroom in i've re-measured this distance between here and the back door and it's actually 51 inches so i've got loads of room for, to fit the bed so we're good we're sweet we're excellent da -da -da -da. So, I might start dismantling that in a future episode, but yeah. We'll get back to you once we've got some more progress. See you soon! Alright guys, that's going to be it for another episode of the Superbus Project. Thank you very much for joining us. We've got the bathroom in now. Um, we've just got to put the curtain over the front, put all the walls in, drill a new hole for the floor. Simple stuff, really, when you think about it. And uh, then it's all about getting the bed in the back here. So that's going to be cool. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, many thanks to Fredders for his help on this episode. Cheers, brother. And, uh, yeah, we will catch you on the next one. Take it easy, guys. All the best. Bye-bye.